the kamikaze pilots were young men, mostly in their teens, with a little training work. Aloha from Hawaii. Today we are at the Pearl Harbor National Memorial site and this is a long awaited visit to here because we have been excited to just experience the historical site of what happened and the events. It's just crazy to think that like this ship sunk like right here. That means like the attacks happened right here and then like Hawaii's there. And like can you just imagine like the plane flying through the sky? is the start of the boat. It goes all the way over here to another buoy. Okay, we just went on the USS Arizona and now we're Memorial. buying... Me oh yeah, Memorial. And now we're buying tickets for either the ship or the submarine. He decided to do the battleship. That brings you every 15 minutes to the two there. Holy crap, this thing's huge. <laughs> this thing's actually massive. My legs are tired already walking up these stairs. Look how big this cannon thing is. Holy crap. The USS Missouri was told to this spot in 1998 to be a memorial. Her size doesn't slow her down. Her top speed is 33 knots. That's the number I said. 289 rounds from the thread. The ceremony began at 9.02 a.m. with a brief opening speech by General Douglas MacArthur. The kamikaze pilots were young men, mostly in their teens. With a little training, would fly out, intentionally crash their bomb-laden aircraft into the Allied warship. It is estimated that nearly 4,000 kamikaze pilots sacrificed in this effort. In the afternoon, a lone pilot steered his plane under intense anti-aircraft fire toward the Sabo side, Missouri. He flew low to the water to avoid the firing, but last moment he tried to regain the altitude. As a result, his left wing hit the side of the ship, just bare inches below the main deck. Now, we can go explore the ship. That was a good tour. That was a good guided tour. She knew her stuff. It's pretty heavy to turn. I mean, it is a gun. Probably weighs like 200 pounds, but... This is where they eat, but if you can hear, they put sound effects of what it sounds like down here back when they were on ship. You can kind of hear like clinking, clunking sounds in the back. It would make it sound realistic. It's so cool seeing where the soldiers eat, sleep, take showers, the cafeteria where they make the food, where they prepare it, um, the, supply room. the supply room, all the ammo, it's just 
crazy to think that we are walking on an actual ship that these soldiers have been on. And this ship actually has been out in battle. This is where they sleep. Wow. Very tight corners. It looks like three, three to a stall on each side. Very tight. Even just the chairs that they sit on, you can see how worn down they are. <laughs> We've just emerged from the deck and now we are on board, about to explore the top of the ship. This place is huge. They literally have everything, eh? Like, well, they did. Yeah, they had to prepare for anything. This is their original deck that we're walking on. SS Arizona the more Oh, that's pretty clear when you look through it. USS Arizona and the USS Missouri. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Bye! Look at, look at how big that ship is.